Hi everybody, this is Professor West for GMC. We are still working with Alice. Today I'm going to teach you one of the final things that you need in order to be able to make games and so forth. And that's how to keep score. How to keep track of it, how to increment it, and how to display it and so forth. It's really not all that difficult. So let's just jump right in. First thing we need to do is set up our scene. And for now, follow along and let's just do something quick. So I'm going to go to set up scene. And I'm going to go to browse by gallery. And I'm going to find the animals. And let's just put a few animals up there. It really doesn't matter which ones. I'm going to put the wolf. And tell it OK. And let's see what else. Maybe I want... Hmm, I don't know. It really doesn't matter what we pick. I think I'm going to pick this little turtle guy. Okay, I'll make him a little bigger. And one more. We'll go ahead and get three things. So how about... I don't even know what that thing is. Maybe I'll pick a phoenix. Okay. <clears throat> Make it bigger. And I'm going to move it over a little bit. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Basically, I'm going to set it up very simply so that when you click on one, you get points. So let's go to shapes and go down to the text which is overways don't know why mine started there but okay and let's go ahead and click on it I'm gonna call this one score because this is gonna keep track of my score and it's up to you what color you want it and so forth um, come down to where it says value and right now it says value you can do custom text string and I'm gonna write S-C-O-R-E and a colon and a space. Now, whatever you write right down here is going to be what actually shows up on the screen. So I'm going to drag it somewhere. You can put it up at the top, you can put it at the bottom, wherever you want to put it. And then resize it so that it you know, doesn't take up the whole screen. That's not working like it should, but sometimes that happens. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just have to move it way back here so that it's tiny in the screen. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go back to the code section. <clears throat> And let's set this stuff up. I'm going to start by going to the scene and come all the way down to add scene property. And we're going to use this to create a variable. Variables like we've used before with the timer that counted down is just means that it can change. So I'm going to name it S-C-O-R-E because this is going to be my score. I'm going to tell it type. It's going to be a whole number. Whole numbers just mean they don't have decimal places like one, two, three, four, and five. And if you want to give it an initial value, I'm going to start it at zero. Okay. Um, and is it a constant or a variable? I'm going to change, make sure it's a variable. All right, it's acting like I can't use just the numbers or the word score, so I'm going to put a number one at the end. For some reason, it likes to have numbers at the end sometimes. So my variable's name will be score one. Okay, so it's down here. It's unmanaged, but it's here. 
Okay, so let's go up to the initialize event listeners and let's point to add an event listener. Now, since we're going to be clicking on these, we're going to use a mouse. And we're going to use the add mouse click on object listener. So, in other words, this is a listener that waits for you to click on an object with the mouse. Seems a little self-evident, but that's okay. No, self-descriptive. So now we've got our listener. So when I click on it, now I have to tell it what to do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have something different happen if I click on the wolf versus the turtle or the phoenix. So to do so, I need the if statement. So come down here at the bottom in the middle where it says if and just grab one and drag it up here. And by default, we'll set it to be true. We'll fix that in a little bit. So this one's going to be for the wolf. So we're going to come here where it says true. And we're going to change that. We're going to come down to rational s thing. Remember, these are things. And our wolf is a thing. And we're going to get the one that has the two equal signs. And then we're going to point to the big bad wolf for one of them. And we can go ahead and do it for the other one too if you want. It doesn't matter. So if the big bad wolf equals the big bad wolf. Well, that's not what we want. We want if got model at mouse location equals the big bad wolf. So we're going to drag that down here into the very first one. So now it's going to say if the event, which is us clicking on it, it at the location of the mouse, which will be like right here, equals the big bad wolf, which it will because we'll be on the big bad wolf, then we need to do something. And what we need to do is we need to set the score. So let's go ahead and drag set the score on here. And then we also need, oh, give me just a second on that. Okay, so in a second, we're gonna have to change that a little bit more. But we're also going to need to click on the score so that it changes to the this.score, or you could have done it here in the list. Could have came down to the this.score. And we need the one that says set value. And what do we want to set the value to? Well, for now, we're just going to leave it as hello. That's fine. But notice that my first one disappeared because I didn't finish it. So let's click back on the ground and get the this.set score. And we're going to put it above the other one. And we're going to set the score for now to zero. So now, but then we're going to go in and we're going to make some changes. So we're going to click this little drop down. And we're going to tell it to do some math. So come down to the math. And remember, score one is my variable. So I'm going to tell it to do math. And I'm going to tell it to do, let me see. This one here with the plus sign. So point to the one with the plus sign here. And then we're going to come all the way down to our score. That's our score variable. And we're going to come down to the very last one. I'm sorry, we're not going to come down to the very last one. This one will take this first spot, and then we're going to tell it what to add. Well, it's, we're going to add, let's say, one when we click the big bad wolf. So now we're going to set the score to be whatever the score was plus one. And now we need to set our value here to be, let's click this little drop down. And we're going to tell it custom text string. 
and we're going to type the word score with a colon and a space. And then we're going to click the drop down again. And now I'll look down here where we can do score plus something. We're going to do score plus point to the whole number and get the actual score. So this is going to tell it to go out and find the score. This one's going to change the score. This one's going to tell it to go find the score and set it equal to this value here. So this value right now just says the word score with a colon and a space. We're going to tell it now to put a, the word score with a colon and a space plus whatever the number is. So if the number was 1, it would add 1 to it. And then here we come and tell it to display it as 2. So now we can click run and test it. Right now there's nothing. So now it's one, two, three, four. So we're keeping score. Every time I click on him, it's adding one. We can do the same thing now with these others. We're going to get an if statement and we're going to drag it into the else. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the turtle and for the phoenix. But we don't have to do the exact same amount of points. We added one every time you click on the wolf. But if you want, you could add two or three when you click on the turtle and a different number when you click on the phoenix. That's totally up to you. So this is just a different way for you to be able to collect scores and have it do stuff. So we're, I'm going to stop right there because now you know how to do everything. You just repeat the same steps. You could rewind the video and watch the same steps. Only instead of Big Bad Wolf, pick the turtle and pick however many points. Everything else is exactly the same. So I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see everybody in class. Bye, everybody.